Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, highly automated TBM 940 unveiled, Boeing acquires four flight, Pal V unveils the production model of its limited edition flying car. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Our top story of the day, DAR has unveiled a highly automated TBM 940, raising the bar significantly with an auto throttle and automatic de-icing system. The TBM 940's auto throttle is fully integrated with its autopilot. The single lever auto throttle automatically adjusts to the aircraft's speed based on present flight profile, while the engine parameters are displayed via a single smart gauge. Also introduced on the TBM 940 is increased automation for the de-icing system. When ice is detected, the system automatically begins de-icing the airframe, windshield, propeller, and the engine's particle separator. DAR has also incorporated style upgrades to the cabin, which includes redesigned seats, additional thermal insulation, a new central shelf with side storage, and USB ports. Certification and deliveries of the TBN 940 are expected this spring. After the break, the Sporties Foundation released its annual report for 2018. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for any of our video programs, website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. With all the interesting news coming out of the aviation industry, we bring you Around the Patch. The Sporties Foundation issued its most recent annual report for 2018. They made donations totaling over 228000 during this past year to attract young people to the aviation community. The foundation also supports museums and organizations that preserve aviation history for future generations. Air Medical Group Holdings will add a total of 21 helicopters to its fleet for medical transport missions. The agreement consists of a mix of H-125 and H-135 helicopters. And it's exciting that they chose Airbus products to drive them into the future. Nine total orders have been confirmed and deliveries are planned over the next three years. Online applications are now being accepted through June 1st for EAA's flight training scholarships. This scholarship is for those starting flight training between July 1st and December 31st. If you miss this deadline or plan to start flight training in 2020, EAA will be accepting applications again on September 1st through November 1st. Copter will be establishing a new production facility for its SH-09 helicopter in Lafayette, Louisiana. Copter will lease an 84,000 square foot facility from the Lafayette Airport Commission. This future production center comes in addition to the soon-to-be-expanded copter site in Switzerland. And that was today's trip around the patch. After these messages, Pal V unveils the production model of its limited edition flying car. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Boeing has announced the completion of its acquisition of ForeFlight, a provider of mobile and web-based aviation applications. For the past two years, the companies have brought aviation's aeronautical data and chart through mobile platforms. Now they will integrate to bring expanded digital solutions. Ken Sane, 
Boeing Vice President of Digital Solutions and Analytics was quoted as saying, We are excited to build on ForeFlight's tremendous success in personal business and defense aviation, so we can provide next-generation integrated tools to our aviation customers today. This acquisition also expands Boeing's rapidly growing unparalleled digital services portfolio, which will enable us to compete and win in the 2.8 billion 10-year services market. The world's first production model flying car has been unveiled at the Geneva International Motor Show. Pal-V unveiled the features of the 90-piece limited edition Pal-V Liberty Pioneer. Chief engineer at Pal-V, Mike Stecklenberg, was quoted as saying, Although more and more flying concepts are announced, only a handful of companies work on a real flying car, one that can both fly and drive, ideal for city-to-city -city mobility. The combination offers unprecedented freedom, personal door-to-door -door flying mobility. Well, that's it for this week, folks. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. Get real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. I'll see you back here Monday for another episode of Airborne Unlimited.